Hello science fans, my name is Shauna and I'm a resident Filipino scientist. It's nice to be able to sit down and catch up once again. So I remember from our last catch up session, we were talking about how um, it was uh, DOSD schedule for the renewal of our mangrove crab project and so I'm actually quite happy to share with you that we were able to pass the two rounds of defense that we had to do with the Division Council and Governing Council of DOSD. So, yay! So, we were able to get um, a three-month extension for our project and also um, an additional budget so that we would be able to catch up on some of the things that we have to do. So, that's pretty good news. Now, for the past couple of weeks also, we've been working with the UNDP as well as the local government of Pasig City in order to implement um, another arm or another iteration of our Echo Squad Goals initiative. So, Echo Squad Goals is one of our projects that teaches um, local communities and youth groups on how to identify different types of um, plastic waste that their house is producing. But for this particular iteration, we were focused on trying to figure out the different types of plastic waste that was polluting um, the Pasig River. And the goal of this is to empower local communities through citizen science so that they are able to contribute to the collection of data while also inspiring them um, to be part of the solution when it comes to some of our environmental problems. And that's why with Echo Squad Goals, it usually culminates with a project pitching where um, the participating local communities are given the opportunity to win grant money so that um, they can implement environmental projects um, regarding plastic pollution in their own communities. And one of the things that I love the most about citizen science projects is we get the opportunity to work with individuals on the ground. It's actually quite inspiring to hear some of the innovations, some of the ideas that they have, because at the end of the day, it's these people who are more intimate with some of the environmental problems that would, we would like to help solve. So it's really truly meaningful to have worked with these communities. So if you want to learn more about what Echo Squad Goals is, um, I hope you can check out the links to our social media pages in the description of this video. Now, I'm, I'm trying to <laughs> get ready for a face-to-face -face meeting in a little bit. And it really is quite exciting that the world is now transitioning um, to have a lot of more in-person activities. And I've noticed that I actually... might have to update my closet soon. I try my best to be careful about the brands that we're buying. So in a way, I think it's a different type of brand consciousness in the sense that um, I don't really care if it's brand name or anything, but what matters more is if the brand is sustainable or not. And when it comes to clothes, what worries me is a lot of the affordable fashion items in the market right now are considered to be fast fashion. What? So what is fast fashion? Okay, so according to my research, fast fashion is a way of creating and marketing clothes and fashion lines in a quick, efficient, but unsustainable manner. Especially since the clothes that are produced through fast fashion are usually made of low quality materials and at the same time the people who are tasked to create them are usually treated in unethical ways. Most of the times these clothes get thrown out faster and what's worse is that some fashion lines even end up destroying the clothes that are unsold instead of reselling them at a lower price or even giving them away to people in need. So it's actually not that simple trying to figure out which brands are sustainable and which ones are not. 
And so, one way to avoid this issue altogether, short of not shopping at all, <laughs> is going thrift shopping, which is uh, a local tradition here that we call ukay ukay. Now, passing on clothes from one family to another, from an older sibling to a younger sibling, is actually not that new here in the Philippines. I, as a kid, I remember wearing a lot of clothes that used to belong to my older siblings. But Ukay Ukay started in the Philippines possibly around um, the 1980s in Baguio City. So during that time, um, a lot of calamities were happening in the Philippines. And so um, the Salvation Army would send over boxes upon boxes of clothes to the Philippines. And what local communities would do is they would resell these um, used clothes by putting the mountains upon mountains of clothes by the sides of the streets and people would literally have to dig through the clothes in order to find something that would be useful for them. And what's funny is um, the local term for dig is hukai. So the term ukai ukai, hukai hukai, is literally translated to dig dig. A few days ago, I went out and visited Nakati Cinema Square, which is an old establishment here um, that is famous for having a lot of ukay ukay um, establishments. And it was really fun trying to look for cool, timely fashion finds. And lo and behold, um, I was able to get, I think, um, a dress, two blouses, a cool jacket, a skirt, I think, all for the low, low price of 1,000 pesos, wow. which I think would barely buy me a new dress, some of the fast fashion brands that we see in the malls. So it's quite interesting. And if you're interested to see how, how these clothes look like, please stick around. One of the best things with thrifting is the low prices for good quality clothing and other items. Through thrift shopping, we get to save money and get good deals too. But thrift shopping is definitely good for the environment because it keeps clothes out of landfills. And so it reduces carbon and chemical pollution caused by clothing production and it even lowers water consumption. Pretty cool fashion finds, right? At least if you have the same fashion sense as, as me. But I'm, I'm pretty sure you'll find something that suits your tastes and your needs in the many, many Ukay Ukay stores that are available in Makati Cinema Square or in other locations all over the Philippines. So I'm off to the marine station this weekend. We're trying to look at the effects of different types of feeding and different types of pollution on our juvenile mangrove crabs. We're going to be flying off to Sorsogon soon also for a crabifier workshop. So it's a pretty exciting next couple of weeks. But anyway, what do you think of fast fashion? Um, do you have other sustainable solutions to address this problem short of not shopping at all? Um, do you have suggested local and sustainable brands um, that can be considered um, sustainable fashion? I would love to hear your thoughts, ideas, and suggestions in the comments section below. I hope you enjoy this kind of format and I hope that we can interact more in this way in the future. So thank you so much everybody and see you around!